What are some cheap and safe countries where you can live on a relatively small budget and not have to worry about your safety at the same time? Because as we know, there's a lot of countries that are cheap, but not necessarily safe. Today, I want to give you my top five cheapest and safest countries to live in the world in no particular order. First up, we have Vietnam. Vietnam is a country located in Southeast Asia where you can live very comfortably on $800 to $1,400. The Vietnamese are very hospitable and modest people. So going out in Vietnam, it's very typical for a local to approach you, ask you where you are from, what you're doing here, not because they want to harm you, because they want to hurt you, no because they are interested in you. They want to learn from you. They want to learn about other countries. And I have always appreciated that about Vietnam. Since Vietnam is located in Southeast Asia, you can expect tropical climate throughout the year. The one city that I wanted to recommend to you today is Da Nang, a city located in central Vietnam. And the reason why I want to recommend Da Nang to you is because it is a city I personally spend time in. And in my humble opinion, I believe that Da Nang offers the highest quality of life in Vietnam. Not only do you have a decent international airport with flights to South Korea, Hong Kong, Singapore, and many other parts of Asia, it is one of the cleanest cities in the country. And the sceneries that you can enjoy in Da Nang are epic. Da Nang is a coastal city surrounded by mountains. One of the good things about living in Vietnam is that the visa policy has often been in the favor of the foreigners. If you want to live in Vietnam for the long term, you can do so on a tourist visa. There's really no need to look into getting a midterm to long term visa because how it works is that when you go to Vietnam as a regular tourist, you get a three month tourist visa, which you can extend a couple of times while you're in the country. And should you have to leave the country at any point, you can come back in shortly after and have a new tourist visa. If you're on the list of select countries, you can also get a one year business visa. So yeah, Vietnam is pretty relaxed when it comes to its visa policy. Vietnam is perfectly safe and according to the Global Peace Index, it is much safer than the United States. Violent crime is very rare in Vietnam. Let's have a look at the cost of living. A traditional breakfast called the banh mi is going to cost you anywhere from 10,000 to 50,000 Vietnam dong, which comes down to about 40 cents to $2.50. A typical meal is going to cost you anywhere from 25,000 to 120,000 Vietnam dong, which is about a dollar to $5.50. Healthcare is also very affordable in the country. Many expats pay as little as $40 for health insurance, $40 per month. But one of the things you can also do is you can pay as you go. When I lived in Vietnam, I did not have health insurance. Whenever I needed anything, I just went to the hospital and I paid cash. Having a look at the real estate market in Da Nang, a fully furnished one bedroom apartment, a Western style apartment is going to cost you $300 to $400 per month, excluding utilities. Internet can cost you as little as $30 per month. Electricity and water usually is about $50 per month. And a fully furnished two to three bedroom apartment is gonna cost you $450 to $800 per month. Most properties are advertised in USD, but you pay in Vietnam dong. Another country that ranks high in the Global Peace Index is Bulgaria. The country located in Eastern Europe offers a great culinary, cultural, and environmental experience. Bulgaria has four seasons. You're going to enjoy hot summers and cold winters. So perfect for the person that wants a bit of a balance. When we have a look at the cities, many people do speak English. So you're not really required to learn Bulgarian, but if you want to spend a lot of time in the country, it is advisable to learn at least a little bit of Bulgarian. The cost of living in Bulgaria is on average 45 to 50% lower 
than most US cities. Many expats manage to have a very comfortable life for $900 to $1,200 per month. Some people even manage to enjoy Bulgaria for less than that and spend $700 to $800 per month. A meal for two at a mid-range restaurant is going to cost you $12 to $30. Sofia and Varna are the two most popular expat cities in Bulgaria. The cities offer a very different lifestyle. In Sofia, you have the capital, you know, you have a lot of people visit all the time, most digital nomads, most people that have a company set up in Bulgaria are going to be based in the capital. And so it's naturally just an easier way to meet people if you live in the capital. Should you seek a more relaxed lifestyle on the Black Sea, then Varna is your choice. Varna is a coastal city located on the Black Sea perfect for beach lovers. You can get a fully furnished one bedroom apartment in the city of Varna for about $250 to $300 per month or less than $250 per month if you want to live outside the city center. Renting in Sofia is definitely more expensive and you can expect to pay at least $350 for a fully furnished bedroom apartment located in the city center. If you can and want to live outside downtown Sofia, you can expect to pay less than $300 for a one bedroom apartment. If you choose to make Bulgaria the center of your life or if you want to become a resident of Bulgaria, you can enjoy a 10% flat tax rate. So regardless of how much money you make, you're not going to pay more than 10% in taxes. Next up, we have Argentina. Argentina is a huge country with different landscapes, climates, and things to do. It is also the birthplace of the tango. One of the things foreigners have gotten to appreciate about Argentina is that when they live in Buenos Aires, they enjoy four seasons. While the beaches aren't that great in Argentina, I think the diversity in sceneries, culture, and culinary experience that you're gonna have is probably gonna make up for the lack of nice beaches. Argentina is a very cultural place, and if you wanna live in Argentina for the mid to long term, I definitely recommend you to learn some Spanish. Chances are you're going to get by just speaking English if you live in Buenos Aires. Generally speaking, you can live very comfortably on $800 to $1,300 per month unless you want to live in one of the more expensive neighborhoods of Buenos Aires, such as Palermo. If you want to live in Palermo, you probably need $1,000 to $1,500 a month to live comfortably as a single person. A meal at an inexpensive restaurant is going to cost you $3 to $10. If you want to live on as little money as possible, then I recommend you to check out Mar del Plata and Cordoba. In both cities, you can find a one-bedroom apartment for as little as $250 per month. Expect to pay $400 to $700 for a three-bedroom apartment in Mar del Plata. $400 to $550 is going to get you a decent one-bedroom apartment in Palermo, Buenos Aires. The declining Argentine peso is going to give you great purchasing power in Argentina, if you earn your money in dollars, euros, pounds, Australian dollars, you probably don't want to earn your money in Argentine pesos though. Another good point about Argentina is that if you are a Westerner, it's pretty easy to obtain residency and become a citizen. Generally speaking, Argentina is a fairly safe country. There's going to be certain areas that are less safe, but after living in the country, you will definitely know what those areas are, when to go there and when not to go there. Georgia is one of the great up and coming countries in Europe. One of the best points about living in Georgia is that you can do so on a tourist visa. If you're on the list of select countries, you can go to Georgia and live there on a tourist visa for up to one year. Very similar to Vietnam, Georgia is full of hospitable people looking to make friends with you, looking to learn from you. Most foreigners, moved to Tbilisi, the capital of Georgia. Looking at the cost of living index, Tbilisi, Georgia is 70% less expensive than New York City, USA. You can live comfortably in Tbilisi for $1,000 per month. 
a decent Western style one bedroom apartment is going to cost you $300 to $400 per month. A typical meal will cost $5 to $7. If you want to stay out of the capital of Georgia, but Jumi is a great option. It is a coastal city located on the Black Sea and it's a little bit cheaper than Tbilisi. Georgia is also a relatively safe country considering the low cost of living, safety and the overall quality of life that you can have when moving to Georgia makes it worth the consideration. The last country I wanted to discuss with you today is Indonesia, another country located in Southeast Asia. Indonesia, another country where I do believe that you need to like tropical weather and Asian culture, Asian cuisine if you want to live in Indonesia. Bali, Lombok and Jogakarta are the most popular expat destinations in the country. Indonesia has long been known for its relaxed visa policy and if you want to live in Indonesia you can probably do that on a tourist or business visa. There's multi-entry visas, investor visas and family visas as well. So this is going to be a hot destination in terms of weather. You're going to face tropical climate throughout the year but in return you get amazing sceneries and beaches. So if you are into the beach outdoor lifestyle I think Indonesia will probably suit you fairly well. Are there any cheap and safe countries that we did not discuss today? And which of the discussed countries is your favorite and why? Leave a comment below and let us know. If you want to learn more about my life in Tenerife, Canary Islands, then I recommend you to watch the video that appears right here. Also, make sure to subscribe and turn on alerts to never miss any of my future digital nomad, travel and visa update videos. Thank you for watching.